fish, first cast, first cast. Uh-oh, guess what I see? I see your GoPro, Tony. Do you? No, I don't, just oh. kidding. <laughs> Unfortunately, guys, Tony lost his GoPro last time we filmed. Don't know what happened. He's probably got potato situs, just like Captain Hadia here. So you run, you hang around me, I'm telling you, you're gonna start breaking stuff. You're gonna start losing stuff, but let's talk about fishing. Today we're gonna go, we are at the Bender Park in Oak Creek, got home. Um, we just want to go see if we can catch a quick little limit of cohos casting. Now, almost everywhere you look in the spring, guys have fished for cohos, coho salmon. Indiana's fantastic right now. Uh, Chicago and then Racine is really, really good in May for coho salmon. Really tasty little critters to eat. We're going to do a little catch and cook, but we're going to do it different. Just because here at the power plant, a lot of times you can catch them on spinning rods. So they're not that big, but they're fun to fight on light rods. We're going to test out some prototype hot rods today. So you ready to go, Tony? I'm ready. Let's see if we can find your GoPro or you have to use one of mine. So let's go. All right, guys, it's not raining right now, but actually I've got, I don't know if you've heard of the Blackfish brand. I've been wearing this stuff for years now, but they make all sorts of like outdoor, I call it fishing gear, man. The rain gear is also awesome for a wind protector. I got the blackfish bibs on underneath me. Check them out. We're gonna roll. All right, guys, we are rolling up into the Oak Creek power plant. There are discharges right here that pump out warm water, and that is why the fish hang out here. The water's really clear, and sometimes it's hard to catch them on a artificial bait. So you gotta use uh, spawn. We'll see what, if, how good they're gonna eat today. All right, guys, I'm going to tie on a hot spoon right here. Only got a couple hours to fish because Tony has to go to work. Check him out. Last week he worked at KFC. This week he's at McDonald's. Nice work, bud. I'm proud of you. There you go. There's our first issue. Oh, nice. GoPro 1 is not working. All right, let's see if we can get a couple cohos. Check my drag. It's one of our new prototype hot rods. I've been just field testing them. I, I just want to make sure I, we're trying several different blanks out before I come out with a new rod series, guys. Tried for cohos here. See if there's any, oh, oh, I just missed one, Tony. Did you? Yeah, felt one pound it. Don't know if it was a coho or not. Could have been a little brown. All right, guys, my GoPro just died. We are in serious potato mode. First fish of the day. Hopefully it's a coho on a hot spoon. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. You didn't add it off. No, it's going to swing it in. Oh, perfect dinner. Just throwing gold hot spoon, three ace. A lot of fun. Dinner. That guy's going to be dinner. We'll see if we can catch a few more. Well, let's see if our cameras can work. I apologize for all the noise. Tony hasn't even had a chance to rig yet, so he's got to he's got to go in a little bit. Just short little pops in the current, just kind of walking it down like this. All right, guys. So caught one on the jigging spoon. Took a few casts. Tony's gonna throw a jigging spoon, but when this water gets really clear, what I like to do is fish a pink spawn sack. Sometimes they won't eat artificials because the water is so clear. So you got to go to a spawn bag. We'll see. Usually, you know, right away, like within the first cast, you got railed. Yeah. Oh yeah, fish, first cast, first cast. Nice coho. Really nice coho. Yep, that's a nice one. Really, I know. You wanna grab that net real quick? Yeah. Heck yeah. Spring cohos. Just net them up. Swing them right in. Heck yeah. Look at that. Look at this, guys. Beautiful. 
Nice little fat coho dinner. Can't wait. Heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there. That was a good one. Oh, there he is. Yeah, Tony. Nice coho. Heck yeah. On the jigging spoon. You don't have to have bait. Oh man, I know that's a nice one, dude. See the bottom. It's a nice little coho. Oh, Heck yeah, yeah dude. Good Those one. are beauties. Look at that. On the jigging spoon. Yeah, on the hot spoon, guys. Coho beat down. Oh man, dude, I gotta do an Instagram story. Hold on. Guys, just so you know, if you're into a catch and release net or a really good net, check out the clam nets, the clam fortress. Really awesome nets. Now you got me wanting to throw a jigging spoon again. I'll let you throw the spoon, I'll throw the spawn. Good. This is one of our new prototype hot rods, guys. Testing them out today with Tony. How you like it so far, Tony? I'm digging it. I'm on. Back to back cast. Yeah. Nice cohos, dude. It's a big, they're big. Yeah, they are. Bigger than I was expecting. I know, me too. Heck yeah, and they're fighting. Liking the rod. Heck yeah. Look at that, dude. They're pulling. Uh, yeah, well, I tell you what, I'll net them. You just keep fishing. All right, cool. See if we can double up. Oh, yeah, they're nice fish. It's a nice coho. Oh, yeah. Bigger than I thought they'd be. Right? Yep. Wow. Beautiful, dude. A nice coho. That's a, oh, in and out. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Not, right over there? No. <laughs> wow, look at that, dude. That's the biggest one yet. Oh, wow. Heck yeah. That's incredible. Such an awesome fish, too. They're so pretty. So much more enjoyable to catch them this way than trolling, guys. You got a good one? Yeah, yeah, I got a big one. Yes, yes. Tony's got a, what, big coho? I don't know. Or brown? Big coho! Another big coho! Heck yeah, look at this, guys! Big coho smash! Easy, though, it's big. Man, they're fighting, I know. Wow. Lift, lift, lift. All right, got him. Heck yeah, buddy. It's another nice coho. See, Tony's using, real quick, show. 3 8 ounce pink. Hot spoon. Stinky pinky boys, another nice coho. They're liking it. They're so pretty. So we got a, one of our longer trout rods here that'll be coming out here hopefully this fall. I'm using, I got a jigging spoon hot rod right here that will be, I really like it. Tony's got one of our uh, medium action jigging spoons as well. So anywhere from 7.3 to 7.8. So I'm excited about our new rods guys. There we go. Oh, okay. I jumped too. It just came off. It was a nice one. Oh, oh. You break me off? Oh, look at this. My weight slipped. Spawn is working so good. I told Tony to try fishing that rod with a spawn bag. So he's rigging that up. And it's really every cast. We've been here, I don't know, uh, 15 minutes and we have 20 minutes. We have six cohos already. Make that seven. And they're nice, man. They're just really nice fish. Yeah, I got it. Just keep fishing or get rigged up. Yeah. Man, they fight great. So much more fun on a spinning rod. I'll say it over and over, guys, than trolling. Everyone just trolls for them. With live scope, you're going to see me all spring and summer casting for cohos. Tony, just come right, just go ahead and throw right in there. I'll switch spots with you. All right. It's a beat down. Nope. You know what, I'm gonna, let's do this, look. Cause we got the live well. This is what I love about the Alumacraft. Flip that right down, look, heads up, heads up. Stand on the deck. All right, stand on the deck right here. Now we got the fishing oh, deck and the nice. live well, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? 
Double trouble. You know, it's a little one, so just unhook it in the water and let them go. Don't even, yeah, that's a mistake a lot of guys make. If you're gonna let a, you don't wanna net the fish if you're gonna keep it. Just unhook it in the water, try to grab that hook and pull it right out. Might be a brown. I think if this is a coho, this is the best one yet. Nope, I got a brown trout. I'm not, now here's the deal. All you're gonna wanna do with these guys is just unhook them in the water. That's what I'm gonna do with this one. Yeah, I can tell he's fighting harder. It's a nice little brownie. There he goes. Catch him up. If they swallow that spawn bag, I will I will cut the line sometimes and leave the little hook in them. I'm fishing a I'll show you the hook. Nice! That's no, a good one. Yes! Yes! Nice coho, bud. Nice big coho. Let me get the net. The yeah, meat down, beat down. I know, bag. dude. Look at that. So much more fun, isn't it? Way better than trolling. Way better. Get off there. All right. Oh, oh, watch out the prop. Watch your prop. Coming through there. Yeah. Wow, I know, dude. They're all good. We're only keeping the really nice ones, so. Wanna keep this one here? Yeah. Yeah, we don't have that much time. Might as well get a quick limit and just get out of here. So pretty. All right, let's get back down. All get right. Back out there. Real quickly, guys, just going to show you. Tony's going to catch a fish here, but I am using a red Gamagatsu number 10. Did you just miss one? Yep. I knew you did. There you go. He's on. So that's what I'm using. And, uh, I'm gonna tie that on. So early, I like to start with a jigging spoon or a plastic, and then as the day and the sun pops up, sometimes they just wanna eat spawn. That's just uh, spring coho or brown. That's how it rolls here. When they wanna eat spawn, give them spawn. There he is. Every cast on the spawn. Nice fish too, dude. They're just so scrappy. Good Lord. Oh, that's a brownie. Uh, yep. Just gonna do what I said, unhook them right on the side of the boat. Kinda get a mix of brown trout and cohos. Oh, there he goes, perfect. Put a new spawn bag on. Oh, come on. Thank you, Tony. Wow, that's really good service I'm getting today. And we'll see if we can double up again, Tony. Let's give it a shot, shall we? Yep. Here we go. And they're right behind the boat, obviously. Boy, that's another nice one. It's like they're all really nice sized fish. Since he's not hooked bad, I'm just gonna let him go because I think we're gonna catch more. Just, there he goes. See you later, buddy. All right, we're gonna see if we can get some float drops. Throw the float up there. A lot of different ways you can catch them here. I got a slip float, but I really should have a fixed float. And, uh, uh, uh. Oh, missed them. Do you see that? Let it sink again. I need more weight too, so that float's not dragging. All right, here we go. We're on, on the float. Yeah, that's what we want. Oh, yeah, nice brown. Oh, heck yeah. So cool. You can get them on a fly here. It's so much more fun on light tackle. See you later. That's cool. And I, I definitely, you know, if you're going to eat a brown, those, those smaller, like three to eight pound silver browns are really good. Myself, I love to eat fish, guys. We're going to do a little catch and cook later but I grew up on the Great Lakes here and I honestly feel like the brown trout are the worst fish, 
There's a lot of captains that'll take guys out and get limits of them, but if you want the best eating fish, cohos, salmon, steelhead, I even prefer a lake trout over a brown trout because they're less fishy. So, Tony, you ready to get back to fishing? Let's do it. Let's go. There he goes. Got him. That's it. It's a good release. New spawn bag and hang on. Here we go. That's a good one. Way up on those rocks. Tony is on again. We have just been putting a smash fest on them. You got a, oh, you got other fish following them. Yeah. That's so cool. You can see them all yeah, the look at that. Is that a nice steelhead or brown? I don't know. It's a good nice fish. Though. I'm saying it's nice, nice brown. Nice brownie. Heck yeah, buddy. That was cool seeing the other ones follow. Right? It's so crystal clear. I know. There's two little cohos by them. Brown. Oh, oh my God. Lift. Oh. Oh, Sorry on the net job. I got one hand on the GoPro and the other on the... A little bit different. Little buck male. Heck yeah. All right, Beautiful buddy. little buck male. We're going to get them right back real quick. Super cool. A little different. We'll be ready to go right away. Yes. Oh, it's clear water. That was cool. There's a couple fish falling. Right? So. It's crazy. You're catching them. Yeah. Yeah. Nice one. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. I just missed one right there. Clean up on aisle seven. Oh yeah, big coho I think. Big coho. Yeah. yeah put him in the box keeping a couple big ones yeah and they fight though don't, don't they? they on a spinning rod yeah it's awesome. whoa 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 come here buddy dinner winner winner you are dinner Yeah. Nice, dude. Nice. Good fish. Let him go. Loosen up your drag. Loose, 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 loose. That's a big fish. Hey, just take your time. Easy, easy. Nice and loose. Let him go. That's a big one. That's what we want. Yeah, it feels good. Yeah, buddy. Nice job. Nice job. Same spawn bag. Didn't even switch it <laughs> Heck yeah. Big in my favorite rod so far okay nice i love this rod we got a lot of rods coming out here that i'm excited and i have to fish them for a few months to figure out which series we're going to run and where we want the guide placement which blanks we like which blanks we don't like so we've been prototype testing a lot of rods and it's finally coming down to the last few months here before we're going to have them available on our website what the hell have you got a rainbow, head. yeah, Steelhead. heck yeah, steelhead. That's no wonder he fought. fought. Yeah. Fought so hard. Yeah. Plus he's in the current. Yeah. Nice. Pretty fish though. Real pretty fish. Yeah. yeah. Heck yeah. yeah. We were waiting for a steelhead. Yeah. Steelhead, cohos, browns, all the above this morning. Beautiful buck. Nice job, buddy. Going nice right job. Back. Get him right back, real quick. Nice. There he goes. Back to catch another day. Hell All right. Yeah. There he is. Decent. Way back there. That's fun. You can get them on a float. You know, the one thing you got to remember is 
if the water is dirty, it's easier to catch them on the spoons and plastics. And then when the water gets real clear, that's when like the spawn really seems to shine a bead. You're finesse fishing. <clears throat> you can do this in Indiana, Illinois, anywhere. I've done it in Port Washington. There's current in a power plant. You can catch cohos like this all year round. Nice coho. Oh yeah, big coho. Oh, brown, little brown. All right, no wonder he fought so good. No, I'm just gonna unhook him. Little cromer, unhook him, let him go. There he goes. <clears throat> Great. Delicious. All right, guys, we are gonna wrap it up. We have our limit of cohos. We put the beat down on them today. Just remember, if you come down here, you can also use shrimp works good, a little jig, little pink or white hair jig will work under a float, bead to work, jig and spoons. Check out our hot spoons on our page, links in the bio, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Tell me, what is your favorite fish to eat out of the Great Lakes? Mine is probably the coho. If I have time, we're gonna to try to go home and fillet them, do a little blackening session, add it to the video. We'll see, but I hopefully you enjoyed this week's video for the meat down, beat down, smack down, crack down. Hit that subscribe button. Time to go clean them. Good job, Tony. See ya.